so it's been a while since I did a video and there's a good reason for that because um, well some people will know it but uh, a while ago I was diagnosed with uh, a benign form of skin cancer a melanoma and I went through a bunch of tests I went to the hospital and they had it dug out of my cheek more than once um, it's gone now and cancer free and everything so that's good but it's also the reason I haven't been doing videos um, well I just haven't been able to sit down and write and sort of collect my thoughts so I was thinking of doing this silly video but I'm not really sure that I'm gonna do it Maybe, maybe I'm gonna do it. Um, Cause I need to redecorate my bedroom. So I was thinking that I would do like a vlog thing about that. Cause I'm a stingy asshole. So I'm really good at making things look good for very little money. So I don't know, man. I will see if. I get around to it because I would have to record it on my phone and I'm not sure that I want to do that so yeah and besides man who cares what my bedroom looks like it was just to sort of do something different something fun um, I have not been writing I should be writing I've been reading a lot though so been playing some computer games and I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda because somebody gave it to me for my birthday and well that's a clusterfuck of a game um, I am not impressed but it is what it is um, so really I just wanted to make this very short video and tell you why I have not been active, I have not been writing. Um, so hopefully I'll get back to it soon-ish. Um, and I'm gonna sort of uh, 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 ponder for and against for I'm gonna um, make up my mind if I want to do the let's redo the bedroom type video. So, yeah, that's all. Oh, that's sun, man. Okay, so, um, take care. So, what I have been doing is uh, playing Grim Dawn. This is, I just wanted to recommend it. These are my screenshots. I have no idea where I took the pictures I did. But anyways, um, it's awesome and you really should play it. It's smooth. It has a good story. It reminds you of the old uh, Baldur's Gate games. It's a, Yeah, it's a bit nostalgic, but it's absolutely the best game that I played in 2016 hands down um well or because i can't say played in 2017 because there could be new games out that is better but so yeah this is um hereby recommended and you really 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 ought to get it it's on sale now and then on steam so um, keep an eye out for it So I told you I've been reading a lot, and um, I was just thinking that I wanted to uh, talk a little about that. I've been reading some some good stuff and some terrible stuff. Uh, so let's start with the good stuff. Um, this one, this book. Let's see here. Oh, shit. 
want. There you go. Uh, so this book here is absolutely the best book I read for a long ass time, man. It's really, really good. It only exists as an ebook, so you'd have to download it for whatever reader you use. Um, it is well worth the asking price, and yeah, I am. I love it. I mean, it's uncompromising. Uh, and some of the stuff, some of the stories in the book actually unnerved me, and it takes a lot to unnerve me. Some of the stories in this book I know have been made into. Uh, sto um, some of the stories in this book I know that some people uh, narrate it on YouTube like Feed the Pig this one I've seen this uh, narrate it I'll try and find it and post a link in the description so you sort of get a taste of what this book is because it's, it's good it's really um, bizarre in, in super surreal but it's really good it's really good horror man so buy it do it and then on to the things that were not so good so this guy wrote some uh, truly interesting stuff on no sleep uh, he has a lot of uh, creepypastas that he wrote, which are super good, like short stories and stuff. I don't think they actually are creepypastas, but short stories, they are awesome. I'm gonna try and, as I said, find some for this guy too, and put it in the description, because uh, I know that a lot of his stuff has been narrated and is really good. So I bought this book because I figured okay so everything else he did was really good and it is terrible I hate it I couldn't even finish it it was so boring maybe it's me maybe maybe the theme of the book uh, doesn't appeal to me or something but I found it ridiculously boring and had to give up um, super bad so while I recommend that you read his short stories which are for free on the internet or listen to somebody who narrated them because they're good I would never ever ever uh, recommend you this book because no just no I would get a fucking refund if I could believe me and then there's this I have the two first uh, Cold Thin Air books uh, by C.K. Walker as actual paperback books and I love them to death. I mean she is so talented and so good. Um, I bought this as um, an ebook because I wanted to read it and it will because I live in Denmark it takes for fucking ever for everything to get here so I wanted to read it and I was so excited and couldn't understand that I hadn't read somewhere that she wrote a third book or I think I saw it on Goodreads or something and I figured oh my god how did this pass me and I bought it and I'm Super glad that I bought the Kindle edition because that was way cheaper than the book with postage and all that shit. It sort of breaks up, but it's horrible. It is terrible. I don't know what she was thinking. I mean, the stories are uninspired. They're boring, but uninspired mainly. I mean, they're predictable and uninteresting. Which is so weird. I mean, because the other stuff she wrote was so good. And 
there are so many errors in this book. Well, I realize that when I sit here and talk to the camera that my grammar is bad and my pronunciation is even worse, but I'm just talking, you know, uh, in a language that is not my native language. So it is what it is. But, dude, I'm thinking back to the times where me and Anne, we sort of went through the whole publishing thing with cryos and you can say a lot of things about cryos but we actually redid that fucking book so many times to the point where none of us could actually sort of recognize our own work that was so weird but the editor was ruthless i'm not saying he was bad i'm just saying that he was very glad for his um red pen let's just put it that way and uh those little passive aggressive how does this make sense notes in the side of your manuscripts but this thing has clearly not ever been run through an editor i'm not even sure she had this beta read by a friend or something because i mean there are typos there are a lot of typos and really super bad grammar some places and I don't get it why would you put out something this mediocre when you're that good I mean, she is good that is um, oh how the mighty fall man um, I will still recommend you, absolutely recommend you, the two first that she did, because they're awesome, seriously. Um, I can link you to uh, a narrated version of one of her stories uh, in the description, which I know that somebody narrated. I know that somebody narrated, that's a hard word. Um, and you should give it a listen, because he is that good. Um, 